Uh, this is the first formal opportunity we've had to be with Matt. Um, as it's known, he's been a, a pretty busy man these last couple of weeks since he, he was crowned the 37th U.S. Mid-Amateur Champion. As Becky noted and, uh, and others today, Matt really had a tremendous and historic year of Massachusetts golf. Um, going down to Atlanta, the Capital City Club, to take down this championship. He had his father, Vic, on the bag, and uh, we all know Matt and Vic are, are at the Brockton Fire Department, but their relationship has morphed uh, on the golf course, and they've become really a championship team that is tough to beat. I'd like to rally off just a few of the stats from, from Matt's championship win. After 36 holes of stroke play, Matt finished at a score of minus two in ninth place. For the round of 64, he, he won that match one up. In the round of 32, he won that match in 19 holes. In the round of 16, he won that match at two up. And then we get to the quarterfinal match. I'll let you uh, decide where the momentum went here. In 20 holes, Matt won this match, and he was five down through 10 holes. Pretty remarkable. Then in the semifinal match, Matt won five and four and finally took the final match, the 36 hole, at eight and six. An absolutely tremendous accomplishment. For that 36 hole day, Matt had many familiar faces in Atlanta with him. Several of his friends and family flew down, including his fiance, Allie, which must have been tremendously special. And now with this win, Matt is fully exempt into the 2018 United States Open Championship which actually is a brand new exemption that was announced at the players' dinner at the Mid-Am. In addition to that, he has an exemption into the U.S. Amateur at Pebble Beach, a 10-year Mid-Amateur Championship exemption, and last but not least, a likely invitation to the Masters. This really does cap off one of the best competitive seasons in mass golf history. As we know, several regional event championships, the We Met Memorial, and finally, Matt shattered the Richard D. Haskell Player of the Year points with a total of 1,603 points to cap off the 2017 season. So Matt, on behalf of, the, of Massachusetts golf, the entire community, we'd like to present this to you, a state and national winning season for the ages. Congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, this year was uh, pretty incredible, and uh, next year's going to be busy, but I'm very excited to go compete at all these uh, championships now. Um, so to recap the week a little bit, it's a hard week, like I've said, like Frank talked about, um, but it's very rewarding when you put the work in, and, uh, and I'm very proud that I was able to do that this year. Um, I said before, Steve has been unbelievable, all these guys, and... Steve's son actually flew down for the final, um, and it was so great seeing friends from Thorny Lee, people I compete with here in the state, um, coming down at different times during the day. I told them they were all crazy, but it made it that much more special when I was able to win. Um, this is a very exciting year here at George Wright Franklin. I'm looking forward to competing and trying to defend my title at the State Am, and uh, looking forward for what's to come. Thank you.